Ali, should we start with what happened in Pamplona? Nil-nil, chance late on, Rakitic blows it. Yes, he does. And it's uh, yet another opportunity that Sevilla lets slip away to put some real pressure on Real Madrid. To put sort of that, that, that shadow behind Real Madrid and saying, we're here and we're not going away. We have seen Real Madrid shaky over the last month or so. And so here it is for Sevilla to say, we're not going away. We're going to be part of the race. But the more the Real Madrid shake, also Sevilla are shaking. And it's, it's, a, it's yet another performance from Sevilla in which you just mentioned there was nothing from Anthony Martial. There was nothing from anybody in the attack. Nothing from NS City, nothing from Papu Gomez coming off the bench. Tecatito Corona gets put on the field because Montiel gets injured, starts playing as a right back and eventually becomes their most dangerous player as he joins in the attack in the final third. But that's it. There wasn't much more from Sevilla. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Manu Sanchez misclears the ball and then there is a contact with Jules Koundé. And so here it is, Sevilla. You get a chance to win yet another game, one nothing. You realize that this would have been the seventh game this season that Sevilla would have won one nothing. But Sergio Herrera had different plans, and Sevilla wasted a chance. Marks had 10 for Marcial, Ali. Uh, sometimes when you go to school and they give you a grade, when you don't attend uh, or, or miss a few days of school, they give you an incomplete. Oh. That's what I'm going to give Anthony Martial. An incomplete. He was out there, but that was about it. Wow, OK. Uh, meanwhile, it is, of course, Barcelona against Atletico Madrid tomorrow. Some interesting exchanges between the two managers. Uh, let's take a look, shall we, at what Simeone had to say on Xavi's comments on Atleti's playing style. When you have only ever experienced one situation, you don't understand any other. If you have moved around, experienced different situations in life, you understand that it just isn't about one thing. Good, Ali. That's what we want. A bit of spice going into this, isn't it? <laughs> hey, great. Awesome. Now people are talking. And, and, and what does it do? It does absolutely nothing because it's not going to change the way that Xavi plays and it's not going to change the way that Diego Simeone is trying to get his, his team to play. And so while this may seem like a lot of posturing and a lot of talking and a lot of back and forth, this isn't really a back and forth because both of these managers are trying to figure out what they can do with their teams. They're not quite certain as to what is it that is going to make their team the best version of itself. They don't know what their best starting 11 is. Neither one of these coaches do. And that's why they keep changing and they keep rotating. And then let's find this. Let's find that. This style works for us. This style works for us. And in the end, they haven't figured it out just yet. Neither one of them, Simeone or Xavi, whether they talk back and forth, know for certain what is it that their team is going to be tomorrow when they show up. The great thing about that quote as well was Xavi having to go at uh, Simeone back in 2016. <laughs> so that one just going through the archives, going, right, how can we, st how can we stir this up a little bit? Uh, Barca, of course, had a busy transfer window, certainly compared to most other sides in La Liga, Coutinho and Kun Aguero, uh, of course, retiring. Meanwhile, Torres, Traore, Dani Alves and Aubameyang all coming in. Ali, we've talked about this at length, haven't we? And you've just talked about the fact that, that look, the bar had been set so low that these players coming in are going to make Barcelona better, really, no matter what, because they're better than Luke de Jong. That's pretty much where we are uh, with Barcelona at the moment. So looking ahead to this game, how will those new faces have an impact? It, it's really interesting to see the attention that Xavi's uh, sort of not, not the starting lineup, but the squad that he was actually going to have available and the players that he has called on to this game, how much attention that list has gotten because people were trying to figure out, well, is Obama Young going to be involved? Is Adama Traore going to be involved? Is Ferran Torres going to be involved? And all of those guys are involved. And so what about Dembele? What about Luke de Jong? What about, I don't know, Abde? 
I don't. Right now, if you're Barcelona, you are you are searching for everything and anything, and it's the same thing that Xavi is doing. He has to have Aubameyang available because he knows that, look, he may not be able to give us a whole lot. He may not be able to start for us. But if we need somebody to score a goal, we'll put him out there. And Adama Traore, does he really match the Barcelona style? Uh, mm, probably not. But if we need something in the attack, somebody who can give us a little speed, a change of pace, we'll put him out there. And it goes back to the point that I just made. At this, we feel like Xavi, while he may have a plan, he's just trying to throw things on the wall and see what sticks. What, how, how do we get three points out of this game? It doesn't matter how we get there. How do we get three points? And we'll, while we want to go back to the style of Barcelona, at this point, I don't know that this is all that important. You just want to get through the game, get three points, and if that means that Obama Yang is able to play for you in the second half and scores a game winner, so be it. If it's Adama Traore, so be it. If it's Ferran Torres, so be it. If it is Ferran Jugla, so be it. That's the desperation and the bar right now for Barcelona. You just want, in any way, shape or form, you are just desperate for three points. Uh, your prediction, Ali, I'm going 3-0 Dembele hat-trick. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would give us something to talk about, <laughs> absolutely. And in, in regards to Dembele, <laughs> now that I think the soap opera is yeah, over, you just know he's going to be there until you the know. end of the season, use him. Use him. He can give you something, use him. In terms of prediction, ah, mommy, oh. this is stressful, Dan. This oh. is difficult. I don't know that I can give you exact result, but we know this for certain. It's going to be dramatic, and I'm going to say 2-1, Barcelona, Dembele to Aubameyang with 10 minutes to go. Yes. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.